Hello friends, in this video we will see how to install Active Directory Domain Controller through PowerShell. I'll create an Active Directory New Forest through a PowerShell. Uh, the domain I have choose is here bluechip.com and the IP address we can see the IP addressing. I have given this IP address of 192.168.2.40 and it's pointing to its own DNS server. I just installed the Active Directory roles but I didn't promote it as a domain controller. So let's go to the server manager and by the time I will open .cmd PowerShell and we will go to the mode PowerShell mode and let, here you can see the only role has been installed and I haven't promoted to other domain controller so if you want to see the how to install a role you can just click on manage add role and features and click on next select the role based features and you can select your server and click on next and then you can check box check the box like active directory domain services and click on next and install it will get installed i just performed that task and now we are going to promote the server as a domain controller so you can just click on promote this computer as a domain controller and we will choose add a new forest so let it come up okay it's here and the root domain name is blue chip.com it's a blue chip.com click on next and I'm selecting the functional level as a default and you can put the password for DSL and password click on next next it will from for a net bias domain name it's a blue chip click on next suppose you have a server core in your environment and you want to install it via powershell you can do one thing you can just manage that computer remotely and now we are in this window like review your selection now you can see here view script you can just copy this script to a safe place and if you want to add a new domain in a new forest you can just always run this script at the at this time you will see all the features are there like the command uh, install adds forest like active directory domain service forest will be created by the name of blue chip and you can see the database the default path for the database default path for the log files and syswall folder and the dns install true that means it will also install a dns and there will be no dns delegation that is false so what i can do you can just copy this script and one one thing you if you can see here uh, we already put the password in the graphical interface like dsl and password but here it will uh, it's not showing us so once we will put this command in a uh, powershell it will again it will prompt for a password let's see let's do this i have put this command and if i hit the enter it will create my domain controller in a new forest by the name of bluechip.com and i hope see it's asking for a safe mode administration password that is dsrm password so i'll put this password enter i will confirm this password enter, and hit enter now see 
validating environment and user input verifying pre-request for the domain controller operation if everything goes fine it will go through and install our services and when we use in a graphical interface like uh, we use to install uh, first for us it give, gives us a warning like delegation for this DNS server cannot be created that is fine same delegation cannot be created because the author because of the in a first uh, DC when you create a first DC like in a first forest there is no DNS service previous installed so it give us a error like authority parent zone cannot be found that is quite fine all tests completed successfully creating directory partition and it will just create the same domain which I was trying to install via this command you can copy this command and paste to the another computer if you have here like you can just add another server to manage you can just find your server uh, like your um, core server if you have a core server you can find the core server you can just uh, add the server to your all servers and after that you will just you have to click like your server will appear here and you can just right click here and you can just add or remove the rules here and you can manage or manage your server from here as well so let's see once it is done it will get restarted installing new forest now it's configuring that DNS server service on this computer only the thing is that uh, once it is rebooted we have to just create some pointer record like we have to create a reverse lookup zone in our DNS and okay it says you are about, about to sign out it will be shut down in less than a minute okay it is now it seems to be uh, successfully completed if you see your operation completed successfully tc promo dot children dot one now the computer will get restarted and let me put the password it's the first domain controller in a forest and the same way if you want to do additional uh, you want to create an additional domain controller you can just perform the graphical face and just copy the command and paste to the another computer you want to promote as an additional domain controller so let's see if it has been done properly or not we see what tools okay we have active directory users and computer and dns is also installed on adds and dns is installed that was the thing we want to do and let's see the dns Okay, we got the forward lookup zone and that is pointing to the server that is correct and we don't have a reverse lookup zone. what is the difference like uh, if we do a command prompt and do ns lookup it will show that it's unknown server which means once you install Active Directory and restart your computer, it points to a 127 itself. Let me disable the IP Okay, here it is 127. It's the local who's pointing to itself. We have to point it to 40. Okay, that is the correct thing. And see the difference like if we don't have a reverse lookup zone if we do a command prompt and do a ns lookup it 
it will still show as a uh, default server is unknown. The reason of this we don't have very much look up zone. Let me quickly create it. Primary zone to all the domain controller in bluechip.com and the network ID will be 168.2 finish let's create a pointer record pointing to DC2 ok now let's refresh and check the ok now we are done we have successfully installed the active directory and dns is also installed that means this computer is promoted as a domain controller in a forest like it's a new forest in a new domain controller in a new forest so if you want some more videos you can subscribe for the channel uh, like active directory like creating a new child domain tree domain trust relationship between the forest you can watch my more videos thank you